Okay, so welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today is the start of the knockout round. Well, tomorrow's the start of the knockout round, but this is the thing. Um, I, since we're up north and we're so close to Niagara Falls, I had to slide over to Buffalo. My family's gonna be here in a bit, um, but we're gonna check this place out. I think I've actually only been here, only been here one time, um, but it'll be fun with Olivia and the whole family. So, taking the day off and be able to have a little bit of time to hang out with them. Um, will be awesome, but you can't help but think like there's a whole bunch of big small mouths swimming around the falls Like you would I don't know if like they, people fish below there, but like, you know, I think that'd be a pretty cool deal Pretty cool video too. So I might have to look into that. Okay, so we have a special guest Say what's up You can say hi. Are you camera shy? You camera shy? You say hi to the camera? Hi camera. Hi. So what do you think? Dad. What are we doing today? Fishing. Are we gonna go fishing? Yes. No, we're not. Where are we at? We're at Niagara Falls. Have you seen a waterfall? No. Big waterfall. Yes. Daddy does go fishing a lot, doesn't he? Yes. I got my little girl, Olivia. She's getting too big. No, you guys have probably been a minute that. since you guys have seen her. I don't think you actually got to see Hudson all that much. No, but that. what? I can't see Hudson. Why not? You can't. Okay, I can't see Hudson. I got, I only got to see her. So we're gonna have a little fun day today. Um, there's one thing about being able to have a day off is is this right here makes it all worth it. So Hudson, say hi. Hi. Straight chilling. Boo boo boo. Boop. Boo boo. All right, Liv, what do you think? Beep. No, it's not a vi it's a video. Water fountain. It's not a water fountain. It's it's, it's actually just rapids. 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 Yeah. See the water? Yeah, I see the water. You want to get down? Yeah. You want to get in there? Okay. So top end of Niagara Falls. Look at that. I would hate to have to go down that sucker around there. In the barrel. In the barrel. Look at that. That's a pretty steep drop. <laughs> You're about to see it from the other way. What do you think, buddy? Do you like it? Unimpressed. What do you think, Olivia? You have no shoes on. Where's your shoes? Yuck. What do you think, Livy? Olivia. What do you think? Is that neat? Still just hanging out. Alright, Liv. What do you want? What are we getting? Vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla? Where are we at? Oh, we're at the soft serve ice cream. Yep. Vanilla and sprinkles, or do you want uh, blue and spring blue ice cream and sprinkles? What do you think, Liv? Do you like it? No. Mr. B, yeah, get up. Shoe Shoe B. Shoe B. Don't get away. Okay, let's see here. I think there's like eight cups. I'm just gonna go ahead and one for every heaping tablespoon. All right, tablespoon. All right, so it's, that's gotta be good. I'll find out. Unplug this. For sure. Alright. I'm going to knock it around. You always have some other some a couple more rods you gotta rig. You just you never have enough. And I'm the same way, you know, and we're going through some of these rods and just making sure everything's looking good. We 
have uh, T minus about an hour and a half before we take off. Ooh, so I had this one other idea that I wanted to probably go swap some stuff out on, but Adrian's crazy, but drove all the way to the White Marlin Open though the other day. Went out there, he said they were they were they were all six to eight footers with twelve footers mixed in. I said people don't realize how 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 big like like these bass fishermen are like oh man you know it was like five footers out there man forget about it they don't even know we literally so i got a triple engine center console and while we were fishing like you'd go down in a swell and there'd be like a 60 foot sport fishing boat like 100 yards away you couldn't even see them that's how rough it was half half the guys got sick they were working their butt off to try to get it all done, but they said it wasn't that great a day. <laughs> so now he's back. He's nuts, man. So. Unbelievable, Brody. <laughs> I wish you would have been there to see it. Like, I, I got I to gotta get some video, and I got to show you, show you how rough it was. I just got to give it to that. That's a hard worker, man. He's a hard worker. I think the Marlin Open pays like something stupid, like $4 million to catch the biggest white Marlin, but. He has caught like the biggest like fish award, which is like pretty unbelievable money too. The last like two years in a row. So I don't blame him. I think it's like a couple hundred grand. Anyway, so that's the deal. We got some work to do today. Just another day. Is your daddy gonna win? Yeah. Yes. He is going to win. Yeah. How much do you think he's going to catch? A big, big fish. A, will you still love daddy if he doesn't win? Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Olivia, tell daddy what's wrong with his boat? You got batteries? Yeah, bad batteries. batteries were wrong with so, daddy's boat. No, it had so. Always something, no matter what you do in fishing, and anything in life, you're gonna have issues with stuff. So, did you cry? I just had one battery getting in balance, which is not more. I'm not even gonna say what it is exactly, but long story short, we got it fixed. It's not the batteries issue. Um, it's just the figuring out how to get it right. So, we should be good theoretically, pretty good. Everything should be charged up, ready to roll. I just gotta make sure, double check a couple things when I get to the service trailer, and then be ready to roll. Picking up a plug, see if we can't get a bite off the first thing. Sort of see. You know, the cool thing is, and, and the tough thing is, is you're gonna have two of the, you know, you're gonna have two guy or you know, there's two groups meeting today, so. think 50 some pounds will get me in a good position but I don't I, you know you just want to have to let the score tracker sort of set you up and sort of see what's up you know dang son there he is Wanted to hurry up and get down in some zones. Cody's behind me, spinning rod. Haler's on a clump. On the good clumps, spinning rod. But I want to 
wanted to see if I could catch one like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. All right, that took me a little longer than I anticipated to get the first bite. Three pounds, zero ounces. Three pounders start off the morning. Last fish moved you into third place. You now have eight fish for 23 pounds and eight ounces. Five. Take my time with it. I didn't get a really good hook set at. I bit it and it came towards me. It bit it and came towards me and I didn't like that hook set. There you go. Pretty good one right there. Pounds. Pounds one ounce. Get the wind off of it. Beautiful fish. Oh, okay. It's, it's business, man. I have to. Good one right there. Jesse's not working right now, so. Yeah. All right, y'all. That was a good period. Um, overall, you know, ended up catching several nice fish. The DT16 still played fairly well. Did have to pick up a spin rod and catch a few as well. So calmer conditions are allowing me to do that. Also, with the pressure, as it's gotten worse and worse, I've been able to sort of try to catch those fish. Um, and with you know more of the finesse tactics. I didn't want to have to do that, but I have. have um, recently, I knew I was gonna have to do that more so in the knockout round, the championship round, if I can get to that point. Right now, we're in second, but there's so many people that are have like right at 20 pounds. It's a crapshoot to know if like I mean I'm in a good position. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know what to sort of see. What to be up around a little bit. I'm looking down through here to see how many people are where, and hopefully I can I can put a few fish in the boat in this next period. So goal is catch 30 pounds. If I catch 30 pounds, it'll be 70 pounds. I think that'd be enough. 75 maybe. If I catch 40 pounds, that's 80 pounds. I'm good. So I, 40 pounds is a strong period. I don't know if it'll be that easy to do that. That first period's always been the easiest one. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to put you guys away and come on along and see if we can catch a couple. Lines in. Beginning period two. There he is. Big and big. Here, please. I need you. Bear claw that sucker. <laughs> I said, don't you ain't going nowhere, hammer. Uh, you going right in this boat is the only place you're going right now. Four pounds, four ounces. <laughs> That's a good one right there. All right, I'm mailing around. All right. Four, four. He's in 25th place with five fish for 16 pounds, six ounces. Yes, sir. <laughs> there you go. Four pounds, thirteen ounces. <laughs> Almost a five pound. I thought it was like a six. It's beautiful. All right, all right, y'all. We are in what second place? Second place right now. So DC's trashed him. He's already made the cut. I'm like right on the cusp. If I catch like probably two more, I'm probably gonna be okay. 
Um, we got 60 pounds total, and I think 41 pounds right now is eighth place. Eighth place right now. So 41 pounds. What's what's ninth? Is it right around there? I'm pretty sure it's right around there. So 41 pounds is basically the cut right now. I feel like I have a good position, um, but we're gonna see what happens. I need to catch two more fish. I feel like if I get 65 pounds, I'll be like 20 and a half, 25. I need to get 25 pounds up on that cut. As of right now, it will not go up 25 pounds more than likely. Um, so that should give me solidify my spot into the top 10, um, and then sort of go from there. So we've had fun. We've had some issues with the GoPro or the chesty. Just for some reason, or something been working real well. But we got it. We're gonna be there. I think we'll have a pretty good shot at making the cut. And so, uh, one last period, one last period to make it happen. Um, we're gonna run around and try to make it happen. So, check back here. We're gonna check back with you guys here pretty soon. Lay down. <laughs> That's the way you want to start the period off, though. Three and a half pounder. I went to both of them on a spinning ball. So, <laughs> oh, God. Got me one of them small mouth. That's a pretty good one for the first one. All right. Oh! I think I got second again. Second? Again. Now, I know Dustin, he, he laid off them suckers. We're gonna hear from him tonight. He's gonna tell me about all them dang big ones he shook off. And we battled hard today to get where we're at. So I'm thankful. The goal this week was to gain some points on Jordan. What's up, Liv, Liv? How are you? And we did that. So that's awesome. How are ya? Ooh, you wanna give me a huggy? You miss me all day? Did you see me catch you a couple fishies? Yes. I caught some big ones too. Yeah, yeah. What's mommy been up to? Nothing. Hey, did you did you listen to mommy today all day? Yes. Hudson, did you listen to mommy all day? I listened to mommy all day, Dad. No, you didn't. I heard you. You, mommy told you not to touch things. You said you touched some things. No, mommy gave me spanking. Oh, <laughs> well, were you a bad girl? Did you deserve the spanking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. She got some blazes. I'm not. Uh-uh. You gotta catch me. Oh, oh, oh. We're thinking about it. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good oh, job, Sizzle. Oh, thank you, buddy. Hey, Haley. Hey, Sizzle. Good job, you too. Hey, I got in. Bad. They told me, said it's over. <laughs> I said, God. <laughs> hey. I said, it's over. I said, what do you mean it's over? Uh, said, it's over. I said, dang. <laughs> he said, dang. Just I take. Just count me out. Let me get my second, man. Oh, Let me get my second. You got a little man right there. Hey, bud. Yeah, little Huddy. Hey. He's hanging out. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's a big he is. Guy. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, he man. Helped. That was fun. Right now, DC wins by 20 pounds. Uh, don't jinx me now. Gonna call it. Don't jinx. Come on, boys. Oh, did? Did you really? Yeah. Jeez. Come on. Thank you. You headed out? Chris Mash. Yeah, I'm out of here. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Yeesh. Shook off 20 of them. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> well, I don't know about the more, but they may not buy. They may suck. I have no clue. Yes. One more chance to catch me. What? One more chance. Ready? In a car. She's in the car. Baby Tell them good luck at the White Marlin Open. I, that happened to me when I got the White Open. <laughs> Go 
Man, day off shenanigans over here. Going down the cellar. Man, you mother. <laughs> 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 it's like, bye. You're not catching no more. <laughs> it's you see that firewood? Yeah. It's over there. Big boy, be on top of my day. There we go. Oh, he. I, ooh, ooh, ooh. He, he said, "Look, you can lock me in, but when I come out, I promise you, <laughs> you're gonna be running in that in that kudzu up there. I will body slam. I'll unhook your, your bow and the thing is fall off in the lake. Yes. <laughs> I will chase you down and put hands on you and choke you out. <laughs> I promise. You. Yeah, I'll sit there. Oh, well, so that's fine. Y'all can have y'all's fun, but when I get out of here, I'm punching <laughs> you in the jaw. <laughs> <laughs>